Okay, so I'm spending my day at the Detroit Institute of Art. And as you can see, it's close to Halloween. This project began two years ago, if I think of it. And as a journalist, the New York Times asked if I wanted to start writing some feature stories about Detroit. And the minute I came into the city, I started to see that this was one of the most fascinating stories I could ever have the privilege to cover. A couple of years ago, we grew concerned about the diminution of arts journalism across the country. And so we got together with the National Endowment for the Arts, and we decided to have a community arts journalism contest. What is it that could happen in their community to make sure that arts journalism stayed a vibrant part of the community? I personally think Detroit is one of the best cities for design. I mean, I think it's you know, very overlooked most of the time. I noticed that the best voices coming out of the city were those of the residents here. I just walked out of the Aerial Angels, which was bizarre. Never seen anything like it. The part where the woman with the whip did the thing with the flower was really funny. <laughs> It was a very traditional space being utilized in a very contemporary way and a very unexpected way. A friend of mine got really upset, but I guess that's the point of art. It's supposed to like bring out you know, people's emotions and all of that. So it did its job, for better or worse. It's mind-boggling because it's so interactive right now. Really, my goal is to spread the word about Detroit arts and culture. We're very excited about Critic Car and what it's going to mean to arts criticism in Detroit and across the country. Detroit is alive and well these days. If you're from Detroit, come check it out. If you're not from Detroit, come check it out anyway, because it's definitely worth your while.